Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Evan, and I'm responsible for the heavy panel PC product line of the IEI. And today I will present information about what the remarket is and what the related product I yet could provide to customers in the marine solution. Okay, let's take a brief look at what we are going to present today. Start with our company's profile and followed by the marine automation market overview and the trends. And the marine market is a vertical application in IPC, so the specific certifications are needed and I will express to you here. And I will also introduce some possible applications in marine field and the bridge environment. And at the, at the end, I will show you the marine roadmap and the related products developed by IEI. And there will be about 10 minutes for Q&A. The IEI Integration Corporation is one of the world's leading industrial computer provider. During recent years, we keep striving to integrate Industrial 4.0 and IoT to innovate cipher solutions with excellence. In 2016, IEI will focus on and develop more terminals for, first, uh, for key vertical markets such as transportation, in, which includes marine, in vehicle, and railway, and healthcare, factory automation, smart building, and fitness and gaming. And the International Marine Time Organization, here we call the IMO, has announced that electronic trust display and the information system we call Axis. This uh, should be implemented into all the vessels by July 28, uh, July 18, July 2018, sorry. Both new shifts and the existing shifts should follow the re these regulations according to this timetable. The bridge systems are complicated and usually composed of multiple subsystems. So Actis clearly defines and regulates all the devices and the connections, which include the data collection, data communication, and the color calibration. Therefore, this is a huge opportunity for SI and hardware manufacturers. Here I will show you how big the marine market is today. For, for example, the world container demand has been growing up since 1980s. Specifically, the main, resource, the main sources are from Asia and from Europe. Additionally, the global through the global port throughput has also been growing up since 1989, which indicates that the marine market is becoming prosperous year by year. Based on the marine marine market uh, regulation and the market trend, it could offer system integrator and the hardware manufacturer an opportunity to get involved in this market. Now I will show you some popular regulation in the marine field. The, the first one, the DMV. DMV is an autonomous and independent foundation with uh, the objectives of safeguarding life, property, and the environment at sea and onshore. And DMV certifications related to quality of the ships, offshore units, and the installations of the systems and the components also. DMV requirements are harmonized with IACS ECHO 10 and IEC 60945. So the, the three items I mentioned here is the most important regulation in marine markets. And the International Association of Classification Society, we call the IACS, is an organization that provides technical support and guidance for promoting the safety of life, property, and the environment through the verification of compliance with technical and engineering standards for the design, 
construction and the life cycle maintenance of ships, offshore units, and other marine related facilities. Equipment wished to be used in navigation and the radio communication systems has to comply with the IEC 60945 here also. And here I specifically mentioned the DMV regulation because it is the most popular one. The DMV regulations confine the electronic devices based on the using locations. As you can see, which include the, the machinery space, uh, control room, bridge, and the uh, engine room and the open deck. And our, our marine devices are designed for the ship bridge and they follow the regulation to meet the temperature, humidity, vibration, and the strict EMT limitation. And for industrial and commercial applications, color rendering accuracy and consistency are absolutely essential. The human eyes is generally likely to be impacted by environment and mislead presentation of the color in the brain. The marine time environment is much more ruggedized compared with a general industrial environment. The requirement for the degree of the light and the dark and the color of accuracy are more stringent. So the color calibration technology ensures that monitor would effectively show the largest accuracy and the minimal deviation of artificial color. IEM marine monitors and the panel PCs follow the IEC 61174 axis regulation. It's performed by monitoring up to N checkpoints and measuring the color and the brightness of the display. And after precisely calculating and highly reliable calibrating, the profile metric will be, re, uh, will be stored in the firmware of the monitor. So the monitor compliant with active specifications will provide a safer and more secure marine time environment to customers. And this is another possible application we call the dynamic position system, DPS. The DPS is a closed loop control system it is driving by the control system of the ship to counteract the environmental forces to the ships, such as wind, waves, and the ocean currents. This mechanism could make ships remain in a position on the sea. DPS precisely calculates the propellant force by continuously monitoring the ship position's deviation and analyzing the natural forces which could affect a ship's navigation direction. This process could make the ship remain in the correct position and maintain the right direction. And DPS is commonly used at the various marine applications, such as subsea engineering work, underwater salvage, marine resource survey, marine engine, engine engineering lifting and so on. DPS consists of measurement systems, control systems, power systems, and the propulsion systems, and other components also. So the DPS possesses many functions which include maintaining the Pacific location, targeting automatic searching for the best bow position, turning point tracking, ROV automatic tracking, changing the center of the rotations, automatic navigation, and uh, parallel movement, and the other possible functions. So DPS is a uh, very important function in the marine bridge system. And now we take inside the bridge. The bridge system is usually needs to collect and analyze many observation data, including an monitor stations, speed logs, weather stations, 
and the GPS signal. So in order to precisely observe the changing waters, this, the sensors are usually located at the top of the ship or in the open deck. Therefore, with a long distance communication, these signal and communication paths should all follow specific regulations such as NEMA 0813. There are a large amount of data received at the bridge and they should be carefully processed and precisely analyzed. A powerful and a reliable embedded box and a panel PC is necessary for this task. IEI Marine Embedded Box BS Box Series equips up to six COM ports which can be used to synchronously handle a large amount of data. This the system of the ship bridge consists of many subsystems, which includes the navigation system, path control systems, and the radar system. Most of them will have fewer systems in order to prevent the failure of the primary system. So additionally, fewer systems can also display the identical information to the captain and the pilot simultaneously such as the C chart. In practical application, fewer or more than ports are necessary for connecting and controlling multiple monitors. So the S-Box and the S-12A, S-19A series contain six ports and two of them ports to fulfill the requirements I mentioned before. Now I will briefly introduce our marine solutions for different parts of the ship. And we, we are going to look inside the ship and uh, the ship could be divided into four parts. The first one, open deck. This environment is usually full of rain and salt water. So the main demand here is a device which has a high waterproof level. And we provide the S12A for customers. The second, engine room. The vibration and the dust are the two most difficult issues here. Therefore, the devices used here should be anti-vibration and anti-dust. The fanless design is suitable for this environment, so we provide s box and s monitors. The third one, accommodations. The main demand of this environment must be security. Hence, Many surveillance cameras and monitors need to be installed in this area. So the S monitors have fewer BNC ports for customers to connect the BNC camera and get a surveillance footage. Four, ship bridge is a location with a maximum number of electronic devices at the ship. Due to the regulations, the electronic devices at the ship bridge should all follow the special limitations. Therefore, we focus on the bridge and provide the customers many marine solutions. And now the following two slides will show you some general applications and some necessary functions that the marine product should have. The lightness is a crucial factor to selling safety. So the IEA provides optical bonding options for bonding between the touch screen and the LCD panel. We know that the, the light transmitting between various media could produce a reflection, right? So the, traditionally, there is an air gap between the touch screen and the LCD panel, which could reflect light seriously. So it could affect the selling security tremendously. So by aiding optical bonding material between touch screen and the LCD panel can effectively improve reflection and increase the brightness by up to 10%. Furthermore, it not only increase the hardness of the touch screen, but also reduce power consumption. And the second, the auto dimming function can slightly modify LCD brightness according to the ambient light to consider the safety of the navigation and operator's eyes comfort. Both LCD brightness and the OSD brightness are designed to be programmable, as you can see in the left side. 
And in the right in the right side, the IEM Marine products provide a multi-touch capacitive touch screen with up to 10 points touch. And in a practical applications, 10 point touch can simulate engine buttons and pump switch so that there will be less real buttons. This can enhance the reliability of marine infrastructure. And we provide marine panel PCs to customers, which includes a 19 inch and 24 inch. By using a dual core CPU and a fanless design, it's more reliable. Operating temperatures range are from the minus 15 to 55 degrees Celsius. It's supported. Since the ship bridge is usually crowded, so the panel, uh, the panel PC and the monitors we provide all have a wide viewing angles for operators' conveniences. And uh, the IEM marine devices have passed strict regulations of DMC, IEC 60945, and ISCS Echo 10, which I mentioned before. So there, the customers can use these devices all over the world without any limitation. Now we take a look about the marine monitor series. And uh, the first one, the picture-in-picture -picture functions offers high efficiency to surveillance. You can monitor radar information and observe surveillance footage simultaneously. Simply connect the BNC camera to the BNC input port and the link DVR to the BNC output port. Therefore, you can monitor and record at the same time, and the record can be saved for the view uh, for the further use. And uh, there are usually two systems. One master, one master is for use, and the one's left for backup. So I, uh, we provide isolated redundant power, which means you can have a separate power input for both AC source and the DC source. So when the AC source is, is terminate, the DC source will continue to supply power to the device. And the VGA output port features displayed cascade function, providing a convenient way to duplicate the display signal. These functions help customers to connect devices quickly and easily. There are two VGA input and two DVI input ports. The VGA is de designed for the old ships, while DVI is designed for the new ones. Additionally, in order to prevent failure of the main system, your video input port is provided for much more reliability. Hence, operation will be terminated due to switching between systems. And it's, it's essential to display the same content to captain and the pilot through the monitors, which are usually cascades at the ship bridge. And we, the IEM marine monitors equip both VGA input and the VGA output, as well as featuring group display with up to 16 screens in a group. The group, uh, to group a cruiser, whose cluster of the monitors simply connect the VGA output of the first monitor and to the VGA input of the second monitor. So, and uh, in order to comply with the active regulations, uh, adjusting the brightness and the contrast on all the monitor in the group at the same time is crucial, is necessary. And this can be achieved through the Ethernet or serial com port. And then port here is used to communicate in a long distance in a group. As for short distance, com port is the best choice. And the LAN port can be also used for updating firmware and maintaining service. And this is uh, my presentation today for the marine market. And uh, in the, at first, I introduced the marine market trend and the market. And then uh, with some possible application I mentioned, and followed by the IEM marine solutions for your reference. Now we have some time for your Q&A.